Hello my friends and welcome to today's tower reading. This is a general daily reading for all signs, but the sign that you're here probably means that there is a special message for you. So thank you so much for joining me today. So today is the 7th of November 2022. It is a Monday, the day of the moon, the day of um, Gabrielle, Archangel day today. And also um, Ajna, which is the third eye chakra. The seven spiritual laws of success. Yeah. The uh, spiritual law of success that is um, prevalent for today is the law of giving. I give, I receive, I circulate. So, with all of that being said, interesting transit today. I'm, I'm feeling it. <laughs> I'm really feeling it. Um, Venus in Scorpio is squaring Saturn in Aquarius. So. This aspect can really, it can be quite challenging. You can find some old patterning coming up. Um, things that you thought you'd gotten over. Uh, particularly in, in respect to relationships. By the way, I'm really sorry about my nails, by the way. A bit of chipping went on, so I hope you do, you can forgive me for that. Um, but uh, yes, it's just, you, you, might, you might not even know why. Like you're feeling yourself triggered by certain things. Um, you might, and it's definitely to do with relationships. You might find yourself pushing people away or you might find yourself questioning why certain things happened. Um, just be, don't, don't be surprised by other people disappointing you or by you feeling disappointed generally with certain things. Um, it can be quite challenging, uh, particularly as well with Saturn and Aquarius, with things not turning out the way that you wanted it to. Um, yeah, sense of regret. I'm feeling Five of Cups energy, really. So just be aware of that today. And particularly with it being Moon Day, Monday, you know, it can connect with the emotions. So, yeah. But anyway, with that being said, let's see what the cards have to say to today how can they help us navigate today so hopefully they can give us a little bit of solace and also a little bit of advice dear spirit what messages would you like to convey to the collective today i will be reading with the broken mirror tarot and i'll be clarifying with the secret language of color cards let's have a look at what messages you have for us today dear spirit I like this King of Cups so much. He's, I like it a lot. Like, can you see? Yeah, it's not bad actually. The light is okay. I changed the light setting today because my main light is quite cold, but I quite like the warmth. And then we've got the, I'm just making sure that it's all right on the camera. Um, yeah, so then we've got the Six of Cups. So we've got the King of Cups and the Six of Cups. We have got the Wheel of Fortune. These cards are so beautiful. So, so beautiful. Just a little bit hard to see. Excuse me. So, yeah, there's a lot of energy. I tell you, when these, when these energies come back to revisit you, you could end up yawning a lot. It's, it's almost like an exorcism of these because, you know, when things come to revisit you, the chariot, when things come to revisit you, it's almost like they, they're testing you to see whether or not the whether or not you're going to be as affected by them. And there are two things that I always see as a as a hallmark of how well you're coping with it. And it's not if you even get triggered by something. It's about whether or not or how you recover from it. Um, I, I saw something quite interesting today. It's not about conflict. It's about the resolution of conflict. So when people argue and people are averse to conflict, it's not because they're averse to conflict. They're averse to the fact that they are able to handle conflict and be able to <clears throat> and be able to uh, resolve it. If they can resolve it in a healthy way, that also encourages a good example to 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 continue with. So it means that there's no fear surrounding any kind of conflict then um, there's nothing to fear about conflict really, is there? But if people are so afraid of the conflict because they, they don't know how they're going to resolve it, then they'll be just too scared. And, you know, that's 
how, how does anything get done in that way? It's always just based on fear, isn't it? And then it ends up exploding because people have no choice. Anyway, that's that. I went off on a bit of a tangent there, but that just came out with that. Oh, interesting. We've got the Eight of Swords reversed. Nice. Wow. Hi, Priestess. Good card so far. Don't speak too soon, Rena. <laughs> wow. Okay. Ten of Cups. Okay, there had to be one. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay, Wheel of Fortune, King of Cups, Six of Cups, the Chariot, Eight of Swords reversed, the High Priestess, Ten of Cups, and Temperance reversed. Well, because there, there's been the imbalance, right? It seems like all of this has had to happen. I think as a result of this imbalance, because I don't think it's the other way around. It has to be because of this imbalance, this has had to, you know, or it could be that this is this an event has happened and things have gone out of balance. But I don't I, I don't think so. I don't think that this happy situation has become out of balance. I think the, the situation was actually out of balance before. Because we've got the Ten of Cups and the Six of Cups. Ten of Cups is, is how things are now and how things are going in the future and happiness. And then you've also got in the past happiness as well. Excuse me. All of a sudden I'm yielding quite a lot. Um, an event that has happened which, which is exceptionally fortuitous. It's um, a session, which a session, a, 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 a something that's happened that's actually been really good. It's actually freed you, freed you from from the constraints and the prison of your own thoughts and your own mind. And um, this King of Cups is wonderful. It kind of tells me that you're able to be in a position. Whereas opposed to the Queen of Cups is somebody who is able to manage her emotions in a, in a good way and is loving and is generous. In the respect with the with the the male, there's almost like a um, a real management of the emotions in 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 a in a fantastic way. King of Cups is is wonderful. Then you've also got the High Priestess. So there may be a little bit of like coldness in that respect, but I still feel that there's like intuition is off the charts. Wonderful. And look at that. Like we've got like all this moon stuff and then you've got the moon here as well. So we've got like a lot of moon cards here um, that are on the moon day. So I think that that's really indicative of how the moon is going to be playing a part. So do, do watch the moon as well, because we've got, well, what am I talking about? Oh my God, it's the lunar eclipse today. How could I even forget? Gosh, big, big, yes, the lunar eclipse is today. That's why this is happening. That's why the moon is everywhere. And it's a Monday. Oh my God. So this is why everything's so intense. Um, and that transit that I was telling you about is intense. Your intuition is on point today. Your management of your emotions is correct, even though it may seem like, you know, it may be a little bit, you may be overly emotional today, or you might, your emotions might be getting the better of you. It's because you're trying to work out something happier for yourself based on the memories that you had, you know, that were happy, you know, and there may be a sense of nostalgia, a sense of loss where, you know, you, you've seen how you've been imbalanced in the past. And, um, you know, you may have rushed where angels fear to tread. You may have like gone forward with your emotions. Also, the chariot is cancer as well. So, you know, with that, with that energy of like, you know, it, maybe you went forward and you did some things like, what I'm getting here, and I'm probably going to use this as the title for this reading, is it's better to regret something that you did than something that you didn't do. And I learned that from a really great song called Deep Kick by the Red Hot Chili Peppers, which is one of my favourite songs of all time. Um, and with that, I just feel that you 
are taking the experiences from the past and you're making you're taking the best aspects of those things from the past that you've been able to learn and you're putting them forward to creating a happy future for yourself i do see right now that at the moment it may feel like it's imbalanced but almost like the imbalance is helping you to re get to remember where you were balanced, to remember how you were balanced, to remember how you've got yourself out of this in the past. So in a nutshell, things may not seem balanced right now, but what's going on is that this is almost like this karmic lesson, you know, like I said earlier about things coming back up to trigger you um, so that you can remember what it was that you did in the past so that you did, you, you, you were able to strive forward and look, You've got the, the the King of Cups and you've also got the High Priestess and you've got the Ten of Cups and you've got the Six of Cups. You know what to do. This is all divine in the respect of you understanding who you are, how you can cope with situations. It's just, it's so beautiful, actually. It's a really beautiful, another really beautiful reading. I'm really glad the universe has been really nice and given us some nice readings, <laughs> nothing too harsh. But um, yeah, it's, this is just a reminder to say, yeah, it may be difficult right now, but you got this. You got this. You so got this. Better than you even think you have. It's, you, you're in control of your chariot. And not only is the sun, is the moon going through all the phases, and we have an eclipse here, right? This is the lunar eclipse. Um, this is what this is bringing up for you and helping you to release these negative patterns of thinking there is a little bit of karmic cycle going on here that that is being that is being released in order for your happiness to kind of transcend and move forward it's really incredible actually really incredible and you're almost coming out of it new and vulnerable because you've got this like naked character that's here there may be also some kind of like, I, I said that there wasn't much female, but I'm seeing this female and it may be some healing with the mother on the mother's side that might be going on through this uh, lunar eclipse cycle. So yeah, interesting, very interesting. Okay, oh wow, so we have Cherry, live an extraordinary life, number nine, wow. Wow. Life is cherries, 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 love cherries. Also, the, the plummy colour of cherry is very much like, not so much blood, but it's that kind of rich, purpley kind of colour. So it almost seems that like you've got, um, my dad always used to say like, or my mum used to say, if your palms itch, you lose money. <laughs> so I hope that isn't going to happen. But um, yeah, like... Um, in the respect of, you know, j just enjoying the things that life has got to give you, enjoying the sweetness of it, the sweetness of the work that you've done throughout this time is really important to give yourself a pat on the back for all of the work that you've done. That's what this is saying, because like you have been. And like I think I've said it before, there's a line in this song that I really like called Soul Sinkable by Sev Deliza. And uh, the song is, it hurts because you're growing. And that's why things are quite painful. It might seem things are quite hard, but that's why, because you're evolving, you're growing, you're changing. And that's why, as I said, I love this 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 king of cups because this king of cups has got like this planet in one hand and he has the constellation in the other and he's in like the the lotus position just with this like he really understands his emotions really well and that's you not just his emotions but he's able to balance it so that he can eat the cherries that grow on that beautiful tree of life I like that reading. Did you like it? Beautiful reading. If you liked it, please do like it. Please do give it a thumbs up. Please do subscribe for more videos. Otherwise, my darlings, you have a beautiful, beautiful day. Lots of love to you all. And thank you so much for your time. Bye.